Hi, Leo Seeker. So happy to have you here. Welcome to the Existential Shift with Morgaine. Uh, we are celebrating one year to the Existential Shift. Happy New Year. We are receiving the January Tarot Scope on January 1st. Here comes the sun, right? Here comes 2019. Here comes the sun. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of. The star, ace of pentacles, knight of pentacles, and six of cups. What a lovely beginning, Leo. Okay. Um, something very creative that is vision-oriented, faith-oriented, um, soul journey oriented is getting really really grounded and you're receiving an offer to do something creative that you've wanted for a long long time this could be something that you like you know like a childhood dream something you always wanted to do possibly throughout the years you kind of went about and other journeys um, tried different things kind of distant yourself from the dream for many reasons and recently if you've returned to doing that thing or gave it a shot um, it really worked it clicked and, and and now you're getting an opportunity to keep doing it or suddenly you're getting an offer that has to do with something that you always wanted to do childhood dream this could be work this could be a partnership this could be someone you've always fantasized about but never thought is possible this could be someone from your past uh, coming back and giving you something very very tangible very grounded very real with great potential for longevity we're not seeing the ten of pentacles yet but this is a wonderful start i would take it if you're getting an offer throughout this month of january in regards to something that really sparks your inner fire your inner light i don't think you need me to tell you to say yes uh, but in case you're one of those um fear oriented people um, that you know, it, it could be like a blessing in your face, like, like hi, I'm a blessing, hi, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm scared. Then I'm encouraging you to, even though you're scared, potentially do it anyway. Okay, some of you are putting a down payment on a home. Um, could have to do with something in the countryside or that resembles a place of your childhood that is in a place of your childhood or it's just something that you've always kind of a, 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 a dream home right something that you're making it your own like there's there's a real growth uh, process here some of you are you of you are receiving an offer to move in with someone or you're offering someone else to move in with them it's gonna feel um, maybe too fast or passion oriented but with the ace of pentacles and the knight of pentacles it feels very very grounded maybe the way it is happening it's happening fast but that doesn't mean it's not but that doesn't mean it's necessarily um reckless like this could have been something that you've been building upon or thinking about for a long time or it's something that comes surprisingly and out of the blue but the essence of it is something that really resonates with something very grounded in you give me one second i need to do something that <laughs> okay maybe some of you have two different offers one is very grounded and stable and kind of real and responsible and has an element of longevity and one is like very passionate and exciting and new and creative and completely different um, something I something that has been around versus something very new but let's see where this is leading to us because this I like I like this energy very much I want to see what this brings let's keep going please Leo Sun Moon Rising Venus several placements by the way People many times really resonates with their south node because that's the character that they've been um, playing 
you know, for many lifetimes. It's what they know. It's who they are. Um, but if you're in a process of really changing and shifting towards your north node and really aligning with your um, with with the vision of that your high spirit has for you, then you might really resonate with your north node. I do have the axes here, so you're Leo, and then there's Aquarius here, so it might have, you might want to look at that axis a little bit. Okay, let's keep going for Leo for January. Thank you. The Hermit, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Okay. Some of you might feel like things are going too fast, that you're not sure if it's real or illusion, if, if, if it's something you should or shouldn't do, and you're taking your time to really um, think about things, and, and you want to be sharp and accurate, and you don't want to uh, get lost in like a cloud of uncertainty just because it's something that seems like a, a wish come true. Like You want to make sure that it is true. Um, this tells me it is true just because I have the Ace of Pentacles right here supporting the star with the Knight of Pentacles. So you might be translating it, taking the Six of Cups into a Seven of Cups of like, what if it will just keep me in this loop of um, illusions? Like what if following or pursuing this dream or fantasy will just get me stuck um, you want to be very realistic, you want to be very sharp, you want to be very goal-oriented, you want to be very mature, but then what you end up doing is you're just, um, what's the, oh my god, uh, when I forget words, it drives me nuts. You're just distancing yourself from your essence by doing so. Like, by, by wanting to do the right thing, you're doing the wrong thing. Um, you have to listen to your inner guidance. The hermit. His maturity, his in, he's not intelligent, he's wise. Not to say that he's not intelligent, but wisdom is beyond intelligence. It's also intelligence, but it's also uh, spiritual and emotional wisdom and maturity. It's understanding that as long as you only operate from the mind, you can't really be happy or succeed because it's only one element out of your entire whole sum of existence that includes other elements so if you're going only by 25 percent of your essence then you can only 25 percent ever succeed um when you follow the spark of the heart that's like that's the majority of your essence everything aligns accordingly like you're supposed to use your mind to help your heart kind of lead the way um not your heart to maybe support the mind so, you understand what i mean so you're analytics, your cognition, your um, discerning, they're important, but they can't rule you. Because look at the hawk on top of it. It's very tunnel vision. He sees forward and very accurately, but he doesn't see to the sides. He doesn't see 360. You're, some of you are um, seeing the notion of seeing 360 as if it's something delusional or, un, uh, or not not a um, focus but actually it's it's the extra focus the over focus that makes you get lost because if you're in the wrong track then you're only going on the right way on the wrong way i'm sorry right you're only going on the wrong way if it's the right way then great but if you're you happen to be not on your track then you're really really into it so you want to make sure that you're not saying no to something or you're not going and trying something um, telling yourself that it's reasonable when in fact it's just fear, right? We love to use logic to excuse our fears. Oh my God, our fears are just all up and about and like, oh, it's the reasonable thing to do. It makes sense when it's actually, it's just being cowardly and telling yourself excuses. What you find to be reasons is actually excuses. Because you're afraid to follow your heart, you're afraid it won't work, you're afraid you won't succeed, you're afraid you're not good enough, you're afraid you can't do it. So you tell yourself story, oh, it's, it's the wrong thing to do anyway. So yeah, you can take your time, but 
Be wise, not clever, Leo. Wisdom over cleverness. No. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. I think this is better. Yeah. Good. I have room for a little bit more. Two aces, by the way. And one seven, one seven, seventeen is one seven. Yeah, it's it's spiritual an uh, analytical spirituality. The one and the seven. Your preciseness needs to be um, heart chakra oriented and crown chakra oriented. Like that's where crown chakra. I don't mean the brain here. I mean like connection to source to your higher self. You're seeking that light in the in the dark, that guidance. You're seeking that teacher, that coach, that guy, that the world. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see how we place this. I already have two aces, and then the world come, comes with all of the aces. Show me more, please. Explain this world for me, for Leo. King of Wands, okay. This is maturity. We're going from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. Something, see? Something that you thought maybe is unstable or a little bit too fast or rash, starting to get a very grounded feeling, a more mature cardinal um tangible feeling like maybe I can do this you know maybe it's something that I can do I want to I want to get two more cards and then I'll understand this row give me two more cards please to figure this out for Leo this could be you by the way Leo although I tend to take the king of wands as Aries because I, I look at the kings as cardinals so it's cardinal fire, Aries. But this fire, this could be you. These are general readings, so let's see. Two of Wands. Hmm. Okay, I'm starting to get an idea. One more. The lovers in the reverse. Kind of wish it hasn't been in the reverse. Oh, it fell right on the ace of swords. Right. No more dilemma. Time to choose a path and just do it. Say the thing, decide the, de the decision, uh, walk the walk, talk the talk, walk the talk, talk the walk. Um, this is partnership. So if this is love and you were kind of um, deliberating in regards to it, it's you've been taking your time long enough to wishy-wash you've been telling yourself you want to make the accurate most best best decision but there are no guarantees there are no certainties you have to walk the path in order to know the path and then you know worst case scenario just go back and take a different turn or whatever, but you have to walk <laughs> you have to try um the world says complete the cycle finish the thing Start this new thing, start this new journey, follow that decision, follow that heart. Um, the lover is in its upright, it's, it's, it's needing to make a decision, it's being in the middle, not knowing which path to take. Lover is in the reverse, it's like it's been, okay, enough. It's like you've been taking too long, you've been excusing yourself far enough. Um, Two aces, just start. There's a lot of like, start already the thing that you wanted to start, that you've been wanting to do for a long time.
just do it. Like stop making up excuses as to why you shouldn't or why it's risky or why it won't work. Um, newsflash, it may not work, of course. Um, it may work, of course, but, but postponing it isn't going to change that simple fact that things can either work or not work and you won't know until you try. So the sooner you start, the sooner you'll find out. Hey. Um, some of you are considering uh, studying something new, a new f uh, form of knowledge, a new type of education. Um, could be something that was always kind of buzzing in the back of your mind, but you never actually went about thinking you can make a career out of it, so you never bothered studying it. But th if that's your case, now is the time to sign up to that school, to that class, to that course. Um, find that teacher, find that uh, space that can teach you that. You're no longer at a, pl at, at a crossroad. This is what you need to understand. You've been on a crossroad, some of you, for a long time. So you're kind of um, like muscle memory. You're, you're kind of addicted to it. But you, you're like really at a place where you're like forced to start walking. Some of you have already started walking. Just, your mindset is still and I still need to decide. But you already started doing the actions for that thing. Um, just move. Just do. Just say. Just try. Um because this is a potential for something greater than you, than the sum of what you thought is you. This is something that really aligns with your inner uh, aspirations. Um, and it's time to behave in a way that will show it to the world and give it an actual chance. Like, look at this. Someone is offering someone the world. I love this, look. So we have the world here, right? We have this king of wands, like holding a wand and Holding this lizard is an offering. This is like a vision. Lizards are seers um, and shamanism. Yeah. Um, two of wands. See how they're holding the world? Okay. I feel like someone who is the world in essence just needs an opportunity in, in, in reality to express themselves as they are in essence. This is major. This is major arcana. The spiritual, the potential, the minor arcana, the tangible, the in reality, the actuality. Um, I feel like someone just needs someone just needs a chance because they are this, right? They are the world. They are all these elements, all these aces, um, very powerful, wholesome, knowledgeable, um, everything kind of thing. The world is everything, um, but. I guess their physical essence expression needs it's like there's a door that they need to open unlock in order to be able to be this fully in reality I'm not sure what this is and I feel like this person here is holding the key holding the vision as to the how okay so if you if you have the power to do this for this person then by giving the world you will receive the world see here now here's the funny thing. This individual is like more powerful in the 3D world, right? He's a king, a minor arcana king. But this individual, even though may not seemingly is as powerful or powerful in the 3D reality world, like mundane stuff, how much money they have, what, what kind of car they drive, whatever, all that, their, their st status, in their essence, the knowledge that they have, um, the energy, who they are, like who they truly are, the soul, the character, the, the being is way more powerful. So it's almost like, interesting, so almost like status wise, um, formally wise like this person has more to offer to this person but in essence like behind the scenes like in 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 in, in the real in the real reality like in the in the what's beyond the 3d 3d 4th d 5th d dimensions like the awareness that this per this individual is carrying is like of lifetimes like there's so much power here but it's like there's this one thing that prevents them from And this individual is holding that thing, that key. So if they decide to cooperate, 
if this individual gives this individual the key to the, the unlock that one thing, I don't know what this is, please comment. Um, then seemingly they're giving the world, right? This person seemingly is giving, but then look, then she is giving the world in return. They're like, they're both holding it together. She is the world. And two of ones, very equal. One wand, one wand. And like this person will bring the wand, the missing piece. But this individual has all the aces. The wand, the sword, the cup, the coin that she can bring with her. Now I'm saying he, she, because that's the archetype that is coming up. I have a male figure and a female figure. But you know, take it to your own area. This could be the other way around. But... Hmm. Oh, I also want, oh my God, someone is really holding uh, their fate back, really holding back destiny, really holding back energies. Uh, some sort of karmic destined event is really needing and wanting to occur, but someone is really holding back. Um, it's their brain. It's their brain. Their tunnel vision is holding them back from living a much greater, grander life that this individual can give them if they only stop thinking and start doing active force, um, fire, wands. This path needs to be walked, but it's like... It's goddamn free choice you know people can have the truth in their eyes god can be like put on putting out neon signs in front of them like trying to shake them and they're like uh, i'm trying to say something wait let me think about it and 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 then it doesn't happen it doesn't manifest it doesn't it just it stays stuck but no i see i see it opening up so, ha, huh, this is what it is. There's an opportunity to open it up now in January, okay? Different narratives, different seekers that are watching me right now, each to their own, it might, someone might be delaying it because they're a little bit slow. Not cognitively, energetically, spiritually. They're just not getting it. It's not... This is mine. I'm going to hold it even though I can change our lives. I'm going to keep it here and I'm going to still think about it. Hmm. Let that lizard go. Let, uh, uh, the lizard is like looking at him. He's like, well, you're ready now? I'm thinking about it. Well, okay. Are, are you ready now? I need to go. Wait, I'm thinking about it. Okay, we need to go. Uh, wait, I'm thinking about it. And this right here be like, I'm chilling. Yeah, I'll wait. Like white noise. <laughs> hey, lizard, what's up with him? The lizard be like, he's, he's still thinking. I love this. This is so funny. I'm sorry. It's, it's kind of sad as well. <laughs> it's also funny. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. See this genie in a bottle here? But it won't show that it's a genie. That's what real genies do. They don't be like, hey, I'm a genie. I can make your wish come true. No, they're like modest and quiet and behind the scenes. And But they but they glow just by nature. And this individual here is like, he could have grabbed this, but he's like, no, let me grab the, what I always knew, the knowledge and the power, the snake, and the material, tangible thing that I can see right in front of my nose, but there's no mystery here. There's no question mark. It's an obvious now let me turn my back into this magic.
they will be receiving a lot of dreams where if this is you then wake up if this is someone that you're dealing with they will be receiving dreams messages signs serendipities synchronicities to wake them up if they listen or not i don't know if they listen the road will unlock and open up for both of them if they don't it will remain like this but here's the thing it's still the lovers it's still the world it's inevitable so i see the latest around april but that will be so silly for all parties involved like i can't even this ideally needs to happen within a month or two because there's a cycle here that really needs to open up there's a beginning here of like a new uh, shared path for two individuals to kind of join forces uh, but someone is addicted to their to their solitary that's an aspect of it it's very hard for them to think of seeing their path be um, integrated with someone else's path they're not sure if they can do that um, but they are very guided they have very strong potential it's just it's been covered by years and fears and mechanisms and it just needs to break through that cloud see how we have this hand breaking through the cloud of confusion and here this hand it's always a, a hand reaching out for something for, to give something see and here's like a person it's like well, do you want it do you, can i give it to you now and no here, here here's the problem some of you it's it's like you're not seeing an opportunity that is being presented in front of you but some of you you are the opportunity for someone else and you are expected now seemingly and that's the illusion of it and that's your test as well seemingly it's you're the one who's supposed to help someone else and kind of give them something that they can't have themselves you are allegedly the more powerful but it's an illusion once you will that's your test if you ignore your calling to do so because of ego because oh i don't want to give this to them or why should i or they're not they're not as high as i am um failure if you will seek beyond it pass it into the essence of it and you will do that here you will receive the world you you will have uh, doors will open up for you that you, you never imagined existed like if you were if you thought you were something now it's like what what's going to happen once you do that once you um you give okay this is how karma works you give a finger you receive 10 fingers okay if what you gave is negative then you receive 10 times as much negative if what you gave is something positive even if it's little you're going to get 10 times as much okay so if you are confusing something with doing someone a favor it's your ego you'll be amazed to discover what this will initiate what a domino effect what a butterfly effect what a karmic uh a reward you will you will unlock something that was locked in your soul for a very long time and it kept trying to break through it um and that's the thing you needed to do you're expected to do in order to do so now maybe for many lifetimes you failed so it keeps coming back the cycle it keeps coming back the same lesson and you kept not listening to your heart um, or to your soul maybe denying it maybe uh, suppressing it thus you were never quite able to really walk the path it was all your path it was almost it was always almost almost there no almost succeeding no that missing piece to unlock it is you doing this thing with this person I don't know what this is I am drop dead curious please comment let me know guys 
or girls. Hmm. Look at the the uh, body language. He's holding her her elbow, and she's presenting the world. It's interesting. So, wait. Let me lean on you for a second while I give you the world. Lean on you for a second while I give you the world. Okay. Let's go to our extended. Normally I do the extended uh, on Vimeo. You do have an extended, but it's it's for January and the entirety of 2019. So link below, you see Ministress of Magic, the full scope for 2019 that will include this January and other months because uh, I did a special project and I prefer for us to focus on that one. Uh, so go check it out. Something for you to get back to every month to refresh your uh, our messages and the guidance and make the connections. Um, I'm, I've been getting really great responses and people love it so feel free I did it for the holidays so enjoy um, I will resume regular monthly extendeds um, for February but I, I'm taking this as a great opportunity to show you a piece of what I do in my extended on Vimeo I'm going to give it to you right here on YouTube I take the, uh, the numeric and elemental uh, value of the cards that I have in front of me and rearrange the table. So for example, I'm going to take, I have two aces, right? And then other than that, it's the only, oh, I have two sixes, six of cups and the lovers. And then I'm going to keep all the majors. So six and then lovers, then the hermit is nine because I also rearranged chronologically and then the star is 17 and the world is 21, right? If I had more repetitions like two fours, three fives, I would keep them on the table and give you the new narratives and interpretations and or added ones from that. Now this is just the first part of what I do the standard extendeds on Vimeo. The main part is actually I reshuffle the deck and create a Celtic cross reading, which is 10 cards um, shaped as a cross, as a Celtic cross, and it's a completely different type of reading. It's really cool. And we'll finish up with messages from the runes or the oracle. We'll see what I feel like. Okay, let's 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 do this now. So one one six six. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Six of Cups, The Lovers. A very ancient um, soul connection. It's the soulmate cards. Very ancient soul connection has now the opportunity to start again. Um, it's like the hand, the hand of, um, of the divine is giving this an opportunity, a tangible opportunity that finally also makes sense in the mind, in the human monkey mind where it's like the people are like oh okay I think this might work out um, and it's an opportunity to really fix something that you've been carrying with you many lifetimes a connection that has affected your soul so for so so long that has brought you wisdom and healing throughout different uh, reincarnations but hasn't necessarily have been um, there hasn't necessarily been a proper union because see this it's like turning his back to her so it was constant healing and learning and evolving but it was just the path for these two souls to found their, to find their wisdom and their fountain of youth and it feels like now this is also the card of union of soulmates depending on the um on the interaction with the cards and this is 11 also one one so I feel like, you know, we had this entire reading where we had this lovers in the reverse. Just unlock it. Universe is giving you the key, showing you the door, um, helping you find your hand in order to do so. All you have to do is and that will um, 
ignite a complete new set of cycles, of life cycles, that are of union as opposed to of separation. Like, as humanity, we're now growing into a phase where we're supposed to learn from the inspiration and grow from the love and from uh, purity and from, um, and from the vision, as opposed to from the pain and from the oppression and from, um, and from the fear. We're growing from love and from freedom. Okay, so we're literally, um, it's, it's, it's the evolution of the consciousness of humanity. Like so far, what we know is growth from pain. Oh, I need to operate my muscle in order to be stronger. But it's almost like now the more you'll be on vacation, you'll get stronger. Don't try this at home. If you want to have muscles, go train. Okay, it's not that simplified, but love expansion of the heart expansion of the soul is what will get you there now as opposed to the suffering and the uh no longer being the hermit i, I also see a potential um so this could be a couple uh, that one of them was always very liberated with their love and with their um, sexual expression and with their freedom in many lifetimes and the other one was more like a monk was more secluded and closed off, maybe religious. Like there was a lot of, um, like they had a lot of um, boundaries and things that wouldn't allow them to express their, express their love. So this could have been in past lifetimes, many past lifetimes, like a different cultural, a huge cultural difference, right? Like like a gypsy and a monk. It's like a completely different. It, it just the world wouldn't collide. But now in the twenty first century, right? Um, there's no longer limitations by boundaries like that. You can come from different backgrounds, different languages, different cultures, and 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 it, it wouldn't matter because today the world the world is open. Um, there's more freedom, and maybe this uh, couple has been carrying their past life me memory. Maybe this individual, their their soul DNA remembers that they're supposed to be secluded or supposed to just be with their kind. Um, and this is too different and bizarre and and not what they can do. Like he has stars, but at night and he's listening to himself and he's very close with the cloak, right? And this individual is like, the stars are like day and she's butt naked and she's like shameless kind of thing. This is full of shame and fear and this is shameless and liberated. So I feel like maybe this individual is the one that is like really um, holding back because of the memory of, of, of the separation, because of the memory of the differences, even though maybe in this lifetime there are no real differences or maybe they're minor or semantics like anybody has, like no one is actually the same. What kind of couple want to be exactly the same? How do you learn from that? It's great to have some difference. When the core of the soul is the same, the rest is just semantics. And who cares? You, that's how you learn a new culture. But notice I keep intuitively, instead of uh, presenting them to you this way as they felt as they are placed on the table, I keep doing this. I feel like now suddenly this individual is opening their eyes to see. Because their stars at night has led them to... Um, it's like a Fata Morgana. Like you, see the, uh, you suddenly see something that was hidden. From you that is very like enlightening okay it's like your 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 inner um instincts your shadow self has been leading you without you even knowing you were thinking you were walking a path of loneliness but it has been leading you here to the fountain of youth the star card is the pandora box the fountain of youth and all that and it's like he's like very mature and very serious and it's like this is an opportunity to really tap into new youthful energy what a gorgeous read leo sun moon rising cross watchers anyone who resonates okay energy is energy if you were lured into this video if you resonate with this video if you if your body's like, yes, this is for me, then it doesn't matter what's the he what the title is, okay? 6-6, six, six, yeah, family, union, uh, partnership, companionship, something that you've 
this, these are two kids, these are two adults, something that has it, now it continues but in a different way. Instead of oh, constant separation, now union. Great! Leo! Are you on a twin flame journey? A soulmate journey? This is also soulmate. This doesn't have to be a twin flame unless you have like a common goal that you're doing for humanity or for the planet, like you're helping something, you're doing something bigger than the two of you, um, helping people to expand their consciousness in a way. That could be a twin flame journey, but if not, it's a soulmate and it's still beautiful and still love, it doesn't matter. I don't understand the obsession of people wanting, having to be twin flame. Do you know how hard it is to be a twin flame? It's a very difficult journey. Okay. Six of Wands and the Sun. Yeah. Ooh. Pregnancy for some of you. Okay. Five of Cups. Stop looking at the glass half empty. Mundu. It's also full cups. Here. Take off your cloak, man. Okay. Let's finish up with a message from either the runes or an oracle. What do I feel like for Leo? For January 2019, the New Year's. Um, happy birthday to the existential shift as well. I'm feeling the Akasha records. Usually in the extended I do the runes, but maybe I'll ask for one room. Like normally I do three rooms. So I'll do this and one room. We'll see. We'll see. Look how pretty they are. Messages from the Akashic Records. Okay, message from the Akashic Records, please. For my Leo Seekers. Thank you. Archangel Raphael. Number eight. Wow. Can I say that this angel is look, looks hot? Is that allowed to say about angels? He's hot. What? What? It's cute. <laughs> oh, you need more than you know. Okay. There we go. Archangel Raphael. Let's read. The Archangel Raphael walks down a path and approaches you sharing his healing and uplifting light. He is a profoundly loving spirit who has an important role in bringing the Akashic power to you. This beautiful being carries the energies of love, family, miracles, healing, and blessed journeys. That's beautiful. He can share all these intentions and experience with you and more. Of all the archangels, Raphael most often comes in the guise of a human. This card can indicate that helpful others may be attending you now. It also pretends a time of great achievement in your personal life, and Raphael is opening the door. Blessings abound with this card upright. There may be a renewal of a lost dream. My God, this is, is, is it not what I've been saying? A reuniting of family members or a healing, perhaps of a physical condition or of a broken heart. Oh my God, this is so accurate. Even if these conditions have been hanging on for a while, now is the time when you can really break through. Let Raphael be your partner uh, in this process and you'll soon see why they call him the miracle worker. This is insane. This is so accurate with the messages. Okay, let's ask for one room, please. One room for Leo for January. One room for Leo for January. Please, for Leo, one room. Sorry. And he was. This is the bridge between above and below, heaven and earth. 
This is also symbolizes the Yggdrasil tree, which, is, which, is, which was the tree that Odin hung himself from um, for 12 nights and 12 days to get the uh, knowledge of the runes, speaking of. Uh, all the 24 runes has unveiled themselves to him. And thus he became Odin the god, which is the, the equivalent of Zeus uh, in the Celtic culture. And also this is the tree where they used to make weapons from pr for protection, like bows and arrows. You have strong protection around you right now, Leo, that is guiding you. Um, and you are going back and forth, up and down in your head about things. If you want things to be clear to you, look at what is this Archangel Raphael that is this protection is trying to show you. The heart chakra is leading the way. See, this is pink, this is green, but both green and pink are the colors of, colors of the heart chakra. Okay, so he's being he's he's following the heart and he's offering you a way to walk the path of the heart. So if you have a dilemma, the answer should come from your heart. Okay, and that will eliminate um, like a seesaw energy, up and down, back and forth kind of thing um, of thinking that you have to choose between the worlds. Where in fact, it's just two of the same, two different expressions. It's it's just. The heavens are a reflection of the earth, and the earth is a reflection of the heavens. But they're exactly the same. Okay? So once you understand that, this is where things meet, in the heart chakra and in the solar plexus. So follow the middle ground of your essence, which is your heart and your passion and your creativity, and that will show you the path of between the two worlds and of the two worlds that is one world. Okay? Great. Thank you, Leo, for this beautiful reading and wonderful energy. I really enjoyed tapping into this. It was lovely. Um, link below to your extended for January and for the entire year, 2019. Check it out and let me know what you think. And also link below if you want to book a private reading with me. It's super easy now. Um, and Oh, Tarot Masterclass. Online at your own pace. You choose the cards when... And you just you just follow the either either you follow my trail of the of the um, of when I posted what like you just go chronologically which is the advice or you can just oh I just did a a reading I pulled out two three cards I just want to know what they mean so just choose these cards that's also fine that allows you to go either serious or more like a surface level tear whatever wherever you are on your journey um that's it i love you guys very much happy new year if you haven't subscribed yet time to join the tribe of my seekers i'd, I'd be happy to have you thank you for your support and i will see you for february <laughs>